everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> into the video I just have a few quick announcements to make. Number one, this is the second part of my $900 Boohoo haul. If you haven't already seen, I'll put the link here to part one. It's the Paris Hilton Boohoo collection, so go check that one out. What you're about to watch was actually filmed a couple of weeks ago, hence why the makeup is slightly different. Back then I didn't actually know how to apply false eyelashes. I have since figured it out. A lot of people left comments on the last one making fun of the look that I was wearing, so just to put it out there, you, you don't need to bag out the makeup up look it was in the past we're beyond that now <laughs> hopefully things are a little bit better than they were then the second thing to announce is that what's the second thing I can't remember if you're just here for the Boohoo Pride collection, it is toward the end of the video. So I'll put all of the timestamps down below, just in case you want to skip ahead. What you can expect to see in the first half of this video is a massive pastel haul, but skip ahead to the end if you're only interested in the Pride collection. And the third thing is, as always, I start my videos off with a little warning that, uh, this is Archie. Yes, he's a real bird. Yes, he screams and chews on my earrings and makes funny noises. You'll probably get annoyed. So if you're going to complain about him, I highly suggest that you go find a different Boohoo haul to watch because the bird stays. And with that being said, I'm so happy to announce that we finally have the Bird Stays merch. Yes, that's right. I have teamed up with Once Upon a Pin and we have come out with a beautiful little Archie pin. There he is sitting on a little banner that says the bird stays. So if you want to support Archie and support me, then head over to the link in the description below. You can grab yours. We just launched them yesterday. We wanted to hit a target of 50 pre-orders and we smashed that in the first 12 hours. So thank you so much to everyone that jumped on straight away and grabbed a pin for themselves. So if you want to get one too, they'll be shipped out probably in September. We're going to start production as soon as possible. So hopefully we'll get them out to you in September. And once you have them, I want to see your Instagram photos and your tweets and using the hashtag the birds days to show your support for Archie. Without further ado, I will hand you over to Alex from a couple of weeks ago and I hope you enjoy the video. I have here today three, oh sorry Archie, three very 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 big bags and it's quite heavy. Now before you have a fit, no I'm not going to keep all $900 worth of stuff. There's a few things that I got because I was like I really want to try that but I don't really think it's my style, but it might be some of your style, so you guys might appreciate it. So when I first logged on to Boohoo, I said to myself, I'm just gonna get the Paris Hilton stuff, and then I'm gonna pay for it and leave. But they suckered me because at the bottom of the page, it was like things you might also like, and they showed me this. I mean, it's like they know me too well. <laughs> this is a pastel knit top and skirt set. And people have been sending this to me on Instagram for quite some time. People have been screenshotting it and being like, you need this, you need this. They put this conveniently at the bottom of the page. And I was like, oh dear. Well, I better get it. And then sure enough, when I clicked on this one to buy this one, there was another recommendation, which was this. Something else that's pastel. And then when I went to buy that one, they recommended this. And then it recommended this. And that you can see a trend developing here. And then suddenly, before I knew it, I had $900 worth of stuff in my shopping cart. And here we are now. This is gorgeous. Look at the colours, so cute. Kind of reminds me of this, a little bit. This is from Pretty Little Thing. This is from Boohoo. It's very, very soft, but I feel like it's going to be so transparent. I can just, I can see everything. I mean, you probably can't see me, but I can see you. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I feel like you almost have to wear like a underneath something. Some, oh, whoa, no! Why? Ah, That's so annoying. I mean, I suppose it's probably meant to be like, no, surely it's not meant to be like that. Surely. That's annoying. Well, actually, no, I think it is meant to be like that because look at the hemline of the top. Look at that. Jeez, I mean, I don't know how to feel. Like, I, I guess it is meant to be like a distressed kind of look, but I feel like that's a little bit too distressed. Like, that's not just a distressed look, that's distressing to look at. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, here's this two-piece set. Obviously, Archie likes it because it's green. 
I'm not so sure I'm a fan of the fraying at the bottom. Like I said, it is meant to be like that according to the pictures. It's supposed to look like that. I just feel like it's a little bit too much. There's just a bit too much fraying going on. Particularly at the back, it's hanging down quite far. But in terms of colour, it's really, really nice. It's actually pastel. <laughs> like very, very pastel, which I love. I think it's quite a flattering set. I always say if you want to make your waist look smaller, if you wear an oversized top and then cinch yourself in at the waist, it creates the illusion of a thinner waist. So. I do think that it's very, very flattering. Looks nice with a pair of pink heels too. I don't know where I would wear this though, because it's like a summer set when you think about it, because it's a short skirt and a crop top, but it's made of knit, so it's very, very warm. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what season this would be good for, but it is really, really beautiful. Okay, the next thing is this little crop top. <gasps> Okay, this is really, really cute. It's just like the tiniest little crocheted crop top. If I was a crafty person, I would try and make this myself because I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. But because I have no talent whatsoever, I'll just uh, get it off Boohoo. Being very, very small like a crop top, but being made out of knit, it's kind of like two seasons in one, so I'm not really sure when it would be appropriate to wear this. Not so sure I'm a fan of this one because this band, when you think about it, the band should really run underneath your boobs, but that only leaves about that much room for the boob, and even for someone like me with negative boob, the boob doesn't fit. Does that make sense? I kind of have to like lift up and sort of tuck a little bit, and it doesn't really sit very well, and I don't know, I'm just, I don't really like how this one fits. I guess it is a really nice style. And I'm sure that some of you guys will like this a lot. If you were actually gifted in the breast department, I think you might struggle. So maybe size up in this, or maybe watch some DIY videos on how to knit and then just knit one yourself. I can't imagine it would be that hard. There's another pastel knit crop that's very, very similar. Except this one is not one that you have to tie up at the back. This is like an entire this is a halter neck, and this is really cool. This is not quite as soft as the other ones, but it's also not quite as transparent. Like, I can't see through this one if I look through it, so that's good. And I really like the colours too. That's very, very sweet. This is amazing. <laughs> so nice. It's a different kind of knit to what this one is. This one is very, very soft, and this one feels a little bit tougher, but it also feels more durable. It's not fraying at all, which is great. And it's also thick enough to cover my bra. Like, you can't see my bra through it, which I really, really appreciate. It's very comfortable. It looks really flattering. It doesn't move. Like, when I lift my arms up, it doesn't lift or anything like that. It just sits in place really, really snugly. I think it's perfect. Sorry, the lighting is a little bit sort of drowning it out, but hopefully you can get the general gist of how nice it is. <laughs> Next up is this t-shirt. Now, I obviously bought it because it's lilac and I love this colour, but I don't know if I'm such a fan of the style, but it does look really cool. I like the colour, definitely. That was a flyby inspection. This t-shirt is nice. It's pretty oversized and it's very, very comfortable. I like the v-neck and I like the colour. It's just not quite my style. Like, in the pictures, I thought, oh yeah, it looks okay, but now that I'm wearing it, I'm just not so sure. Here, can you go away? It kind of feels like maybe if you wore it tucked into a skirt, yeah, then it, I guess if it was tucked in, it might look a little bit nicer. I'm just not such a fan. It's really soft and really comfy, though, so if you guys like the style, like, this is very, like, prim and proper, like, posh schoolgirl going to play polo or something, you know what I mean? I like it. I don't like it enough to want to keep it though. Okay, I can't quite remember what this is. I think this is a sweater dress. Yeah, it is. So this has lovers written on it. Big pink sweater dress. And it smells like vinegar. Oh my god. <laughs> if you opened a packet of salt and vinegar <laughs> chips, this is literally the smell that comes wafting out as soon as you open the packet. That is so weird. <laughs> This feels very nice. I feel like I could wear this all the time, particularly because it's winter here in Australia. I feel like I'm going to wear this a lot. I mean, I haven't tried it on yet, but just my first impressions, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one. If there's one thing that Boohoo does really, really well, 
It's oversized sweater dresses. I've been living in this pink knitted one that I got in my last Boohoo haul ever since October last year. I think I've at least worn it like four days a week, every single week since October last year. Honestly, I know that sounds terrible, but I just throw it on over anything. And this is my next version of that. This is so incredibly soft, so comfortable. It's a really, really nice pink. It's got lovers written on it, and the lovers is in really, really cute font, and it's a really nice color. Oh, I just love this. Look at the length of the sleeves. The sleeves are so nice. This is the sort of thing that I could wear anywhere. You could dress this up, dress it down. Oh, this is like, without a doubt, this is my favorite thing so far. I absolutely love this. Do you guys love it as much as I do? Archie does. So next up, what's this? This is meant to be a dress? Like, really? This isn't even, I don't think this would come down to my belly button, but this is meant to be a dress. Is this a petite? No, it says Boohoo Night. This is meant to be nightwear. I mean, maybe if you're wearing it to bed, it's gonna be nightwear, but that is not club wear. The only club you'd be getting is a club over the head from your mother if you tried to walk out of the house wearing that. So, uh, you know how in those old paintings they put like a leaf in front of the private part? Uh, Archie can just be my leaf because this is just beyond a joke. <laughs> this is the shortest, shortest dress that I have ever, ever tried on. Like I've got to pull it down to uh, keep myself monetized. That is so bad. I have tank tops that are longer than this, so I don't know what they were thinking. This is ridiculous. I feel like I can see what they were going for. Like, if I, if I pull it down like that, then it's pretty cool. But if I just like stand normally, it just rides all the way up and you can see my bum so clearly and, oh, it's terrible. So look, just, just don't, just don't. I mean, even if you have a short torso, don't. <laughs> well, hey, look, I don't want to tell anyone what to do. If you like short dresses, then go for it. But just to save your money, if you, if you know that you don't want to walk around showing your bum, then just, just don't go for this. <laughs> This would have been very, very cute, but yeah, it's a, a terrible, terrible mistake. Okay, another dress that I'm kind of reserving judgment on because I thought, hey, that looks kind of cool, but I also didn't quite like the length of it. I thought it looked a little bit awkward on the website, but I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, wow, this is way shorter than it looked on the website. This is another teeny, teeny, tiny dress, but I do like the design. It's giving me very, very clueless vibes. As much as I love this dress, it is, so short, like from the front, it's just getting away with being okay to show. It's it's just gonna keep me monetized, but if I turned around, that'd be it. It's unfortunate because I do really like this. I really like the color, I like the cut, I like the style, I like the design, loving the clueless vibes, but yeah, it's just too short for me. I didn't see on the site if they had a tall option. I don't think that they did, but I'll tell you what, in the picture, don't you reckon that this looks longer? Am I imagining it? It's probably just because her body is a different proportion to mine, but on her, it looks like it's at least down to maybe like there, but this is, oh, it's just too short. But I think I might take a nice picture wearing this and then, yeah, I think I'll have to say bye-bye to it because I just, uh, I don't know, like, oh, it's, nah, nah, can't do it, can't do it. See, this is the problem that I keep finding with Boohoo. It's kind of hit and miss. It's either like, oh yeah, it's perfect or, uh -huh. Next up, I'm, I don't think I'm going to keep this one, but a few people have asked me to buy this. I've seen it in my DMs a couple of times. This is a pastel, kind of like a, I don't know, what would you say, like an oil slick kind of design. It's a bodycon dress. I don't think that this would be very see-through, which is major bonus points for me because I hate it when something is kind of transparent and you can see your undies. This actually looks like it's quite thick, so I'm very, very happy about this. This pastel sort of like oil slick, almost it's like unicorn's blood, like it's really cool, but it doesn't really complement my skin. I think if you had a bit of a darker skin tone, this would look amazing on darker skin for sure, but I think for me, just because of how pale I am, and this is a big old mix of a bunch of pale, uh, yeah, I just, I think it washes me out a lot. It's nowhere near as thick as I thought it was going to be. Like when I picked it up, I was like, oh, you won't be able to see my undies through this, but uh, Yes, again, it's got this sort of like second layer here where the bra is. Oh, look, see, just, uh, uh, 
Yeah, it's got this other layer on the inside and when I was standing in front of the mirror there I could see a very very clear difference between the line here and, and here. I don't know if it'll turn up on camera but yeah you can just kind of like see straight into this dress so I, I'm not so sold on this but it is cool. I think the length is really really good considering some of those other dresses were so short. This length is much more appropriate for me so I like the length, I do like the design, I like the colour but it doesn't really suit me so I think I'm gonna have to return this one. What's this one? What's it gonna be? Yeah. Ah oh, yeah, I, I do remember this. This is cool. This is quite long and it's got like a little sort of fluffy frilly thing at the bottom. This is very heavy, not gonna be transparent, I can see that already. There's some loose stitches just kind of around here which doesn't really say much for the quality of it but I feel like this will look pretty nice. Guys! Oh my god, how amazing is this? I love this so much. This is literally one of the nicest dresses that I have ever bought. This makes me want to leave the house. I mean, there isn't much that can make me want to leave my house. This makes me want to leave the house and go on a date. This is absolutely stunning. The colour is beautiful. The cut is really nice around the neck. The problem with these really tight things is you can see every little detail. So I feel like some shapewear would be nice to wear underneath this, you know, just for a really smooth silhouette. I love the length. I really like the little frilly hemline at the bottom. I think it's stunning. I just, I feel so glamorous in this. This is like, ah, oh, I just want an excuse to wear it somewhere. Like I, I want there to be some sort of like award ceremony or like a wedding or something. I just, I want to wear this out, but I feel like I, I couldn't really wear this anywhere other than something special. You know, like if there was a, a birthday party or whatever, then I could wear it. But I don't think that I could just rock up to the shops to grab some dinner with Dan. Like, unless we were going somewhere fancy. Where would you guys wear a dress like this? Could I just wear this to a normal dinner date? I don't know. But I do love it. I think this is so elegant, so amazing. I did think when I saw it on the website, I was like... I thought it looked incredible, but I didn't think it would be this good. 10 out of 10. I am so excited about this dress because I saw it on the website and I thought it looked absolutely stunning. How unusual is this? This is like, it's got these puffy sleeves, it's got a kind of like a turtleneck and then it does up in a bow at the back and I just thought it looked so elegant and so sophisticated and almost like vintage. So I'm really, really excited to try this. And I think this one was almost sold out. I think I may have got the last one when I bought it. So I'm sorry if I did, but maybe it'll come back in stock. This is so cool. This is like one of the bougiest dresses that I've ever put on. I absolutely love it. Look at the back. It's so pretty. The color is amazing. There's just one thing. I feel like I'm a Effie from The Hunger Games. Primrose Everdeen. Do you get that? Like with the puppy sleeves? But hey, I'm not mad about it. This is... Did you hear that? This is so cool. This is like one of my favorite dresses by far. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely keeping this. Again, just have to kind of think of a place that I could possibly wear this. I'm not really sure. This is another one of those like quite fancy dresses or as far as I'm concerned, it's very fancy. I feel like if you'd need some sort of special event to wear this to. I mean, hey, you could just be extra AF and just wear it anywhere that you want. Like maybe I could do that too. I think this is so cool. I really like the high neckline. Like, don't you guys reckon this is a really unique design? I don't think I've seen many dresses like this at all. This is so cool. Really like the back as well. It's just, you, you definitely need to wear like a suction bra or something with this, because otherwise you'd see the strap at the back. That's a shame because I do like the comfort of a proper bra instead of just a suction one. But what can you do? You gotta make compromises when you wanna wear something this nice. I haven't had the best of luck with skirts on Boohoo last time. But I really hope this fits because this is really pretty. It's this kind of like asymmetrical hemline with a little ring, o-ring there. Really nice colour and it doesn't look like it's going to be too short on me. And, sorry. And I think it has real pockets. Yes! It's got real pockets. Oh, it's a good day. It's a great day, isn't it, Archie? We love it when the pockets are real. Okay, I think I'm gonna try on all of the skirts with this crop because this is my favorite top so far. So this purple skirt, this is amazing. I'm so happy because a couple of the last skirts that I got from Boohoo were really, really hit and miss. They were either too big to be a size six or they were too small. None of them really had accurate sizing. This one, 
it's spot on. Like it's perfect. It fits me around the waist like really well. It's not too tight. It's not loose. The only problem is there's a little bit of pulling around my thighs, I guess because my thighs are kind of wider at the edges here. So there's a little bit of pulling going on there, but I think that's forgivable. I think that asymmetrical hemline is actually really cool. And these ring details, they're awesome. Like I love that. That looks awesome. And real pockets. It's a good day. When the pockets are real, it's a good day. I think I'll keep this one for sure. It is the tiniest little bit see-through, but you just have to wear nude undies with that and that'd be fine. I definitely recommend these. They are tight, tight. So, you know, whether you get the actual size or maybe a size up just depends on the shape of your waist. I think the waistline would fit people differently depending on your body shape. So just check the measurements, like check the size chart. And if the size chart agrees with your body shape, then definitely go for it. I think this is lovely. This skirt is the same cut and the same style as the last one, but it's just a different color. I can't tell. I don't know, is this meant to be green or, or yellow? The color is just not what I thought it was going to be, but the, the cut and the style looks great. Okay guys, there's something that I want you to understand. No, no, I need you to understand. If I say that a color isn't accurate, please believe me because the amount of comments I had on my wish video saying things like, um, sorry to break it to you, but that wig is green, not blue, like you said. Just because it looks kind of blue on camera doesn't mean I'm colorblind. So what I'm trying to get at is this skirt online is a very, very different color to what it actually is. And yes, maybe on camera, you guys might think that it looks the same. It's really not. <laughs> just, just understand that, please. But aside from the color discrepancy here, again, just like the purple one, it fits really, really nicely. Real pockets, cool O-ring. Yeah, absolutely nothing to complain about aside from the color. So I think I'll return this one. Yeah, I'll return this one and I'll keep the purple one. Okay, I have no memory of what this is whatsoever. Oh. Oh, oh. The heck? Okay, so this is kind of like a plasticky skirt. It's a two tone plastic skirt, but that feels absolutely awful. Ugh. I don't really know how to describe this. It's like softish fabric on the inside, and then this plasticky stuff on the outside, but it feels really horrible. Like, I feel like wearing this, I would be very uncomfortable wearing this just because it, uh, I don't know, it's like. It just feels a bit weird. I don't know. Swag. This skirt is awful. Straight up feels like a condom. Like, I, I hate it. This weird, like, really weirdly sticky but smooth PVC plasticky material. I mean, I don't know what you call it. I've worn these kind of like plasticky skirts before and I've never had that much of a problem with them, but this one just feels so, so weird. But if you really dig the look of it, like if you like this two-tone color and you think it's a flattering fit, then maybe go for it. But yeah, I actually hate it. Oh, it feels so uncomfortable and it's so tight. I just, oh, I don't. Also, this is really weird. Look at this, because the band, it, it's actually like purposefully, you're meant to fold the band in like this, but the band comes out really easily, like it pops out. It's just not made well, like it's a really bad design. So yeah, not really digging this one. I do like the color, like I would love to try and find a skirt like this, maybe just in some sort of elastic-y kind of fabric, but not this weird uh, like condom material. Don't like it. There is a lot of purple in this haul, like a lot. If you saw my pretty little thing haul, you might remember those terrible vinyl pants. Well, I found them again on Boohoo, but they're purple. So, things like this kind of terrify me. Like I'm a little bit scared of what these are going to look like, but they look so good on the model. So fingers crossed. luck with pants like this. Last time I tried on pants like this, they were really, really, really baggy because I sized them up because I thought if I get my size, I won't be able to put them on. 
I went one size up, they were way too big. So this time I got them in my size and I cannot get it over my feet. Like this is so annoying. Fits me fine around the waist, but yeah, I can't even pull the leg over my feet. So that's a shame because I really like the color and I think they're really, really cool. So these ones are going back for sure. I just, has anyone ever had any luck with pants like this? You can't get your usual size, you can't size up, you can't size down. What are you meant to do? Okay, next up, I couldn't believe these when I saw these on the website. I was like, wow, boo-hoo, picking up your game, huh? Look, it's like a purple and white and gray windbreaker. How cool is that? That is aesthetic AF, I'm so excited. Okay, here's this windbreaker. This kind of reminds me of that like Fenty, sporty, luxe kind of vibe, except it was super cheap. It's very comfortable. The fit is all right, like it's obviously meant to be oversized. Wearing this just makes me want to go stand. What? Just uh, landed on my microphone. Stop it! Let them see. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't chew on it, no! Oh crap. Wearing this just makes me want to go stand in a wind tunnel and freeze my ass off just because I want to put it to good use. Like it's a windbreaker jacket. I just want to go break some wind. Forget I said anything. This is so cool. I really, really recommend this one. Like how nice is this? You can't deny it. this is awesome. Get off the microphone! Now that windbreaker also came in this sort of like puffer jacket. So not great for my friends over in the States because it'll be way too hot. It's almost like a ski jacket. How cool is that? I would say like buy this in advance in anticipation of winter because that is so pretty. Stop it. I think it's safe to say that pastel Michelin man is my new aesthetic. I love this, this is so beautiful. The colors are identical to that other wind jacket, but two very, very different occasions that you'd wear these. I feel like you would wear this in the snow, like 100%. This is not just normal winter wear, this is snow wear. Now, for an Australian to say that, it's very different for you guys in America because where I live in Australia, it doesn't snow. There is one place, or maybe two places in Australia that you go for skiing, and it doesn't really snow anywhere unless the very, very, very high lands. I would not get that much wear out of this unless I was specifically going skiing. The other one, the windbreaker one, that's just the sort of thing you could chuck on in the winter over anything or even in autumn or fall. Both of these are such winners. I'm so impressed. When I saw them on Boohoo, I was like, whoo, you guys have upped your game since my last haul. Like, wow, very, very happy. Almost in anticipation of Christmas time, or Christmas in July, I got this. This is like something that Ronald Weasley's mum would knit. That's pretty cute. Like a, a pastel, a purple, love hearts knitted all over it. That's really adorable and it feels really thick, like very, very luxurious. Oh, it's actually got a double coat. That's so interesting. So on the outside it's purple, but on the inside it's white. So it's like they've sewn a double layer. Okay. My transformation into a pastel grandma is almost complete. This Mrs. Weasley inspired Christmas sweater is so nice. Like it is so, so comfortable. And I'm really, really glad that it's winter here in Australia because I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I mean, even though it's very Christmassy and it does have reindeers on it, I can pass it off by saying Christmas in July. I love this. So, so cool. Look at the colors. Aren't the colors beautiful? Flyby inspection. Do you approve, Archie? Uh. Do you like it? Look, what do you think? I'm keeping this so you can sit on it. You, you can, you can, uh, yeah. Wow, what do you reckon? Look, let's come and show them. Yeah, this is adorable. Look at the little love hearts all over it. And it's got, well, what are these? Like snowflakes and reindeers and, oh, it's so cute. And I'm sorry that I don't have a green one covered in birds and almonds, but maybe someone could help us sew one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this one is 11 out of 10. I adore it, absolutely. Ah, oh, it's ah, so good. Now, I don't know if they've come out with all these rainbow things because it's Pride Month. Okay, so these are some kind of like tracksuit pants that have a rainbow up the side. They look really, really cute. They're very see-through though. Like if I hold this up, I can actually see straight through and I can see the tag on the inside and I can almost read what is on the tag. That's how see-through these are. 
So there's also a matching top as well. There were a few different tops that could match those pants, but I thought this one was really cool. This is like a crop top, like this, but it's got elastic on the bottom. What do you reckon? What do you think? Okay, this is cool. I can't deny this is cool, but I would never ever wear this. I can't imagine myself wearing this whole thing out in public. It's just a little bit too sporty for me and also very attention grabbing because it's all white. Like, I feel like this could be really, really cool depending on your personal style, but for my style, it's not really something I would feel comfortable wearing out in public. The pants are okay. They're pretty transparent, but I like that they're high-waisted. I do love this top. Like this top has this elastic thing here, which is great because it means you can lift your arms all the way up and you're not gonna show any boobies. So that's nice. I love the rainbows. The rainbows are really cool. The fabric of the pants is quite soft. The fabric of the top is a little bit harder, but it is a cool set and I think it's quite flattering too. But yeah, not something that I would wear very often. It totally reminds me of one of those like racing car, cheerleader girl outfits, you, you know what I mean? Like that's the sort of aesthetic that I'm getting from this. So if that's your aesthetic, you might like this a lot, but I, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, I, I'm just, I, I'm not sure. Okay, we have our first piece of black clothing. First and almost only piece. Hey, let go, let go, let go, let go. So this is a little bodysuit. It's really, really cute with the rainbow. There's a lot of rainbows going on here. I really like these spaghetti straps, but I feel like this isn't going to be long enough for my torso. This bodysuit is lovely, but it runs very small. I have had to like, ooh, hitch this all the way up because honestly, when I first put it on and I pulled the straps up, this was sitting below my boobs. Like I had to pull and pull and pull and pull to get it to come up over my boobs. So you definitely, definitely have to size up in this. Like the body of it is really, really small and it's actually hitched up so high that it kind of like, isn't even sitting where it should. It's kind of like sitting like this instead of like this and it's just, just not comfortable, but it's really nice. So I reckon if you had a smaller torso or if you sized up a couple of sizes, then this would be really good. I love little spaghetti straps. Like I think they're so flattering and I really like this flat neckline is really, really nice too. I don't know, what do you think? I, I, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one just because of how it fits, but I'm sure some of you guys will like it. Okay, I got these pants because they look wild. These are in the tall range. So they're probably tall enough for me. They're just like flared rainbow legging kind of things. And they look really cool. I mean, this would go really, really well with a pair of YIU shoes and maybe like a top from Dolls Kill, but they look very transparent. I hope these look nice. Like I reckon these are gonna look really, really fun. What is your obsession with this rainbow top? Why do you like it so much? No, stop. Fun fact, in my first year of university, I used to work at a children's day center, like a daycare place, and I used to have to dress up in different costumes and sing and dance, and this totally feels like a clown costume, like 100%. This is so over the top, so incredibly extra, but the pants are really cool. These are meant to be a tall fit as well, so wearing heels, they just touch the ground. I think the cut of them and the flare is so flattering, but I think I'm gonna have to return them because they're just, they're so over the top. Like they're really cool though, don't you reckon? They're so cool. And they kind of look cool with this top as well, but also they're a little bit see-through. Like you can, they really hug your bum and you can see every little detail. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna keep them, but I do love them. I think they're really, really cool. I don't know, actually, what do you think? Do you think I can you not? Do you think I should keep them? What do you reckon? I just can't really... Archie doesn't want me to keep them, so uh, these are going back, but they're very cool. I didn't actually mean to buy this because I put the white one in my shopping cart, but by the time I went to check out, the white one had sold out. So they just automatically switched it over to the black one. So now I have a black hoodie with rainbow sleeves. Look again with this stupid frayed hemline. I don't get it. I kind of... I feel like they're... they're going for that distressed look, but it's almost just like they're being lazy. Oh yeah, let's not finish it properly. Let's just call it distressed. So you know how I said I meant to order the white one, but I ended up with the black one? I'm not mad because I'm really, really glad that you guys get to see it. This is so cool. I'm glad that the white one didn't come because the white one 
that's this cut and then the white one that had the elastic around it. I think they would have just been so similar. You know what? I'm half tempted to keep this. Like, I don't wear black hoodies ever, but <laughs> this is just so aesthetic. Like, you get what I mean? This is really, really cool. It actually kind of looks cool with these pants. I've just got that little uh, body suit thing underneath, but I am a fan. And hang on, let's see if the hood is like a Paris Hilton hood. No, no, this hood is like comfortable. There's, there's nothing wrong with this hood. The Paris Hilton hood, I mean, that was clearly fake news because that wouldn't fit on anyone's head. You know, it's kind of scratchy inside, kind of. Oh. I wonder if you can tell. No, I don't think you can see the fabric. It's a soft fabric on the outside, but it's a really scratchy fabric on the inside, so I'm not so keen on that, but it is really cool, and it looks cool with these pants, and uh, I think some of you guys will really like it because you can kind of like express yourself, but then also be quite sensible at the same time. Okay, and the other piece of clothing that has something black on it is this dress. Look! I, I'm so, so excited about this. I feel like this is going to look so good. I mean, I don't know when I'll ever wear it, but I have really, really high hopes for that. I think that's awesome. Okay, this is so cool. I do love this. I kind of feel sad that I don't wear as much black as I used to. How beautiful is this? Like, the, the rainbows are so nice. It fits really, really well. It's very flattering. I love the long sleeves. This will be really nice for winter. But at the same time, I never wear black these days. Like I wear black leggings occasionally or maybe like a black stockings or something, but I haven't worn a black dress in a very long time. So I don't think I would get very much wear out of this, but it is beautiful. I think some of you guys will absolutely adore this. I think this is an amazing dress. It's not see-through, it's made quite well. The price was pretty good too. Definitely recommend this one, love it. Look, it's very archy. Like we've got green and yellow and red and you know, we've got green and there's some red and there's a bit of yellow on here. This is a very, very archy dress. And then the very last thing I have to show you guys I'm the most excited about because when I saw this, I couldn't believe it wasn't sold out. I was like, how has this been on this website for so long and people haven't bought it out yet? Look at this. Look at this gigantic rainbow bomber jacket. That is so cool. I'm so, so excited. It's the most extra thing I think I've ever seen, but this is epic. Okay, I was going to complain that this isn't pastel, but you know what? Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm gonna keep this. This is so cool. Like, this is so unique. Can you please stop chewing on it? It's not for chewing on. Let go. Let go. Not for chewing. No. Yeah, so I adore this one. I kind of feel a little bit like, you know those paddle pops? They look like this. That's 100% what this feels like. I think this is so cool. <laughs> Definitely recommend this one to you guys. I think it's worth the price too because it's very, very thick, very heavy, very warm, great for winter, even though it's summer in America right now. This is the sort of thing I would say, why don't you just buy it and then put it in a cupboard and wait until winter because this is so nice. This motivates me to want to go skiing, even though skiing is absolutely terrifying and I hate it, this makes me want to go skiing. All right guys, well that's everything. I hope that you liked it. Please let me know down below what your favorite items were. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram and uh, Archie's Instagram too. If you like this video, maybe subscribe. We have a lot of other haul videos coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!